Hello, this is Johnny and this is an update on the camera system on my GoDot third person controller demo. I simply added a follow camera system which gets seamlessly transitioned from the mouse camera system. If you haven't already watched the series, I've got the link for the full series in the description. You can also check out the mouse camera system from before and if you've already finished it, you can simply skip to the next part of this video. First, I'm gonna briefly describe the mouse camera system so far. The root of the camera or cam root has a child called H which has another child V, and the camera is the child of the V node. The H node rotates horizontally and the V node rotates vertically. This is basically a gimbal system where the H node is for the yaw and the V node is for the pitch. You can also see the camera comes closer when it hits the wall. That's because the camera is a clip camera class. And also remember to make the process mode idle. So to make the transition from the mouse camera to follow camera, I created a timer here called mouse control steadily. It always starts when the mouse moves, and when it stops, we go to the follow camera. The follow camera I made is extremely simple, but I found it to be really effective. What I'm basically doing is, I'm lerping the rotation of the H node towards the Y rotation of the player mesh with the value of this. Basically, if the player is standing still, the camera stays still. And when the velocity increases, the camera slowly goes behind the player. Another modifier is this one, which is the angle between the camera front and the player front. This way the camera doesn't rotate when the player is directly facing the camera. I also added a speed multiplier which can control the rotation radius of the follow camera. If you decrease this value, the rotation center can be further and if you increase this, the rotation center will be closer. I'm also updating the camera at age value so that when the mouse moves, it picks up from the current rotation. So that's basically everything. The H node just rotates so the camera goes behind the player depending on the value of this and in the player script, the player's moving direction is rotated with the H node which creates a simple follow camera which can be used in many situations with an RPG game. So that's it for this video. You can subscribe so you don't miss my future tutorials and also you can join my Patreon page to support my works. So thank you for watching.